Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherry Nawahib with the top news of the day. BNP leaders stated that Khaled Azia will be released through movement. If the demand is not met despite this, an instant movement will be formed. The BNP leaders gave this warning at a protest rally organized in front of the National Press Club on Monday. The pre-arranged program was announced across the country after a mass hunger strike demanding the release of Khaled Azia and her treatment abroad. The rally started around 10 a.m. in the presence of thousands of leaders and activists on the road and sidewalk in front of the National Press Club. BNP announced a program on Wednesday to issue memorandum to district administrators across the country demanding the release of the BNP leader. Police clashed with leaders and activists in different districts. The BNP claimed that the police attacked the procession to thwart their peaceful program. More than a hundred leaders and activists were injured. Several people were detained. A supporter of the both symbol was killed in Charkovar Union of Munshigan Shadur in the third phase of Union Porishad elections. Several people were shot and injured. The election campaign of the candidates is taking place at full swing ahead of the voting. The rebel candidates of Awami League and the party have reciprocal allegations. The government is renewing the law on the expelled General Secretary of Ghazipur Metropolitan Army League and City Corporation Mayor Jahangir Alam for allegedly insulting father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and the Great Liberation War. Whether he would run for mayor will be decided soon. The Minister of Local Government, Rural Development and Cooperatives, Muhammad Tazul Islam, gave this information at the end of the cabinet meeting on Monday. Bangladesh is ahead of many other countries in dealing with the coronavirus epidemic and vaccination activities. Mentioning this, Health Minister Zahid Malik said that another 1.5 crore vaccines would arrive in the next 15 days. Meanwhile, private university students were vaccinated for the first time in Chittagong. At the same time, people of the third gender have also come under vaccination. An indefinite transport strike has started in Silla Division from 6 a.m. with a five-point demand. Due to this, all types of vehicles movement, including long-distance buses, are closed. SSC candidates and tourists are suffering in this. The strike was called by the Silla Divisional Committee of Bangladesh Road Transport Workers Federation. Transport workers said the strike would continue until their demands are met. Meanwhile, allegations of collecting extra fares on public transport in the name of Waybill is apparent even 16 days after the campaign. Several public transports, including Projop Projopati and Boshumati, were fined on such charges. Furthermore, students staged a protest at Dhaka's Muhammadpur bus stand demanding half fare. The government hopes that the Podda Bridge would be open for traffic movement around June 30th next year. Cabinet Secretary Khandukar Anwar Islam expressed this hope at a press conference after the cabinet meeting on Monday to announce the decision taken at the meeting. The cabinet secretary made the statement while giving information about the annual report on the activities of the fiscal year 2020-21. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.